let's go ahead and copy this thing right here and let's see give yourself a little bit of space and uh, under the frames just go ahead and paste this right here and go ahead and type in buttons <laughs> not uh, that but this all right so what these buttons pretty much is going to allow you to do is this once you pass in the URL if you want to clear the URL or you want to clear the path or you want to click download it's going to pretty much allow you to do so so let's just go ahead and start implementing that and uh, let's see why do I have this space right here all right this is so much better okay let's see settings variables frames buttons all right buttons let's just go ahead and get that all right so the first thing we want to build is uh the clear button so pretty much a button that will clear uh the url and another button that will clear the path so let's just go ahead and do that btn underscore clear underscore url equals button and go ahead and type in write because guys remember whenever we want to pretty much click the buttons we want them to be down here we want we don't want them to overlap with this frame and this is why we put them on the right so pretty much everything that is here is on the top everything that is here on is on the bottom and everything is here is on the left and everything is here is pretty much on the right and when I say top, bottom, left, right, I'm talking about the frames, you know, top, bottom, left, right. All right. So we want to put the bottom on the right. And uh, let's see, what do we want to pass? Can I copy and paste? Yes, I can. I'm just going to copy and paste that and tidy it up a little bit. Did I say title up a little bit? <laughs> I don't know what I said. Um, what I wanted to say is I want to tighten it up a little bit and go ahead and type in command because I mean we want it to command it to do something and go ahead and type in Linda and go ahead and type in clear underscore URL. And with this, it should give you a bunch of errors because it makes sense. We haven't built the function yet. And what this pretty much is going to allow us to do is as soon as we click this button, it's going to pretty much call this uh, function. So we're going to implement this function in one second. But uh, let's just go ahead and uh, first uh, finish the button real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's give ourselves a little bit of space. And let's go ahead and add high light background equals color and let's also go ahead and type in I think that's about it yeah I think that's about it I thought I'm gonna be typing a lot of stuff but um, all right and let's just go ahead and type in grid and the row should equal one and the column should equal one all right this should be good to go and let's see did i misspell anything it says that this is a lot of code for one line but i mean we can break it into two lines of code but hey i don't want to do that and uh, I think this code won't run because we haven't implemented this function yet. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's have a place where all the functions should be at. Functions. Did I spell functions right? That is embarrassing. Spelling functions. All right. Thank you, PyCharm. You're the best. <laughs> and let's just go ahead and uh, define the function and pretty much our function is not going to do anything right now let's just make it pass and this is yelling at us because it's saying hey you have so much space between your code like what's going on and let's see all right let's just go ahead and rerun this again 
And as you guys can see, we have this little thing right here. <laughs> uh, I don't know why is it that small, but uh, we should be able to fix that pretty soon. But at least we have something that doesn't do anything. So let's just go ahead and close that. And uh, I think I know why is it is that small. It's because we haven't added any text to it. Let's just go ahead and add text saying, uh, URL, let's say clear URL. And uh, let's just go ahead and run that again. All right, that makes so much sense. All right. Um, and actually, we might as well just go ahead and make it cre clear the URL. And to do that, it's actually pretty simple. So go ahead and type in what do you want to clear. Well, I want to clear the URL. Where is that? It's in the entry. So I'm just going to type this dot delete zero comma end and that should take care of it so let's just go ahead and uh, rerun that and uh, if I go ahead and type in whatever I want whatever I want whatever I want and boom nice let me try that again all right now it works fine so let's just go ahead and do that for the path as well so uh, I mean the pattern shouldn't shouldn't be that different all right so to do that let's just go ahead and copy this whole thing and paste it right here let's just make a couple changes uh, I want to call a function called clear path and let's see we want to clear the path and we want to have this named as button clear path and this should be on the right as well let's see are we missing anything are we missing anything i think this should be on uh, the third row i guess let's see and boom here we have it and let's see if we go ahead and type in whatever it's going to clear this go ahead and type in whatever Oh, it doesn't clear it. Why doesn't it do it? Oh, errors. Uh, let's see. Oh, we haven't built the map function yet. So we can just copy this, paste it right here, and change the name of the function to this. And make sure that we are deleting the right thing, which is the path. All right. Now that we have that, we got to run it again. And if we add in anything here, it's going to clear it. If we're going to add anything here, clear path, it's going to clear it. All right, so let me review what just happened. We cleared it a week. <laughs> we cleared. <laughs> we created a button that will clear the URL, and we also created a button that will clear the path. And uh, these buttons are pretty much calling these functions. And what these functions are pretty much doing is saying, hey, I'm going to go to the entry of the URL, which is right here, and I'm going to delete everything from the index of zero till the end. And in this case, with this function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the entry of this path, and I'm going to delete everything from the index of zero, from the index of zero till the end. That's pretty much it. It's very simple, guys. So now that we have uh, that set up, let's just go ahead and uh, clear. Uh, uh, clear. <laughs> I keep saying clear. Let's just go ahead and uh, create uh, another uh, button that will pretty much clear everything for us. I mean, just for convenience. Let's just go ahead and type in. Oh, I mean, do I want to type it? I can actually copy all this. And I'm going to just put it right here. And I'm just going to have this as button clear all. And let's see, clear all, clear all, and no, yes. And let's see, does this have to be five, I guess? 
and let's see what else what else what else do I want to change what else do I want to change I actually think it would be better if these were 25 it's really subjective guys but uh, I mean whatever you want but I just decided to make it a little bit bigger and let's just go ahead and implement this function um, nope define clear all and what this is going to do is pretty much is going to call clear URL no let me just copy it <laughs> and and it's also going to call clear path all right simple enough and this I think needs a little bit of space so it stops giving me errors um, all right so we are good and let's just go ahead and test everything out and see that everything is actually working all right so I have some data here and I also have some data here if I say clear URL it's gonna clear that If I say clear path it's gonna clear that I have some data here I have some data here clear all boom it works awesome <laughs>